Reason Studios Reason 12. Today I'm going to show you how to make a beat from scratch using Reason, Chord Sequencer, and a couple other things. Check it out after the intro. What's going on guys? It's your brother, Brother OTG. The OTG's for overtime grind. Hardly seen, but I'm always around. Today, Reason Studios, Reason 12. We're gonna get it popping with Reason 12, man. You know, I'm still using the reed drum. I love the chord sequencer. So I wanna give my thank yous to everybody. Make sure you check out the master class over four hours, over four hours of information. You know, pay $7, pay more if you like. Check out the sound bank. Let's get into this beat though. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, comment, all of that cool stuff. You know, I utilized the chord sequencer, radical piano. I played the keys. I didn't sequence it out. I just played it out utilizing the keyboard. did a quick quantize on the notes. I did it by hand because I wanted some of them to still be off. So I still quantize, but what I did is I messed with the velocity some and I didn't quantize them perfectly. So they still have a little bit of that human feel so it doesn't sound so stiff. Go back to the chord sequencer and check out the top and the bottom. My add in those notes. I think I'm probably just gonna leave the bottom. Add a basic mix, turn up the highs and turn up the mids so it sits on top of the mix. Start mixing early. Copy and paste the chord sequencer. We bring in the chord sequencer and we're going to put it in on top of the, the Humana voices so that way we can make sure we're playing the same chord. And we're going to build a pad sound with those voices, but first we got to copy the notes over so it's playing close to the same thing. Shout out to the producers everywhere. You know, shout out to everybody at Reddit. Now, on this, you know, I could add a reverb, but we're gonna util utilize the reverb on the device to utilize some of the settings on the front of the device. I love Humana. You can turn and turn uh, uh, the choir sounds into some cool sound and pads and some uh, ambient type sounds to give your beats some, f some movement or fill up some of the blank spaces. in my sound pack that's available in the first comment along with the master class you know we still have one of the highest videos on reasons channel higher view tutorials on reasons channel so check out my master class check out the sound pack you can get my favorite sounds i utilize to make a lot of these beats starting with this hyper bottom bass that you can feel 
So, you know, even if I'm utilizing a synth bass, I like a bass that cuts through without me having to do a bunch of side chaining and other things. I like a bass that cuts through without me having to add grit or saturation or any distortion. So that's one of the things I love about Reason and their basses. this guitar just to have something to break up and bring in to let it let it be known part of being a producer is driving some sort of direction with the beat so when you hear this guitar you'll know that it's the chorus or leading up to the chorus to this guitar. These are my cellos from my sound pack. You can check that out in the first comment. You know, I bring the cellos in and bring them in on the one. You know, we go back and go and, and mess with the mids and the highs so you can hear the accent of the cellos on the, on the one when it comes in. Um, so we're going to add these cellos in, make sure that, you know, that first note has some power to it when you hear it. When I say first note, I mean the first note of the beat, you know, with the strings and everything coming in at one time. The cellos give it a little bit more of a, 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 a sound that I like when it hits every time on the one. to audition this is what we got so far make sure you like share subscribe comment all of that cool stuff follow me on all social media at brother otg check out the reason Masterclass, reason sound packs i like this beat so far let me know how you feel about it in the comments through now and do some mixing to the sounds that we have already you know i tell guys a lot of times you know and i'll tell you again a lot with your arrangement is all about your sound placement and just messing with the eq the panning you know and putting songs or putting the sounds in their place in the beat you know i utilize a method where i play everything at one time so i can get a general mix and then as we deduce or cut things out, you can hear how everything sounds and it kind of sounds like it's together. Um, so we're gonna run through, do a, a quick mix. You can hear how the sounds change and we're placing them in the mix. of the drums you know I got the main part of everything together so now I'm going to do some variations of the drums so that way I can come in I can automate different patterns and make it sound like um, I programmed uh, a pretty extravagant drum pattern when in reality you know it's just a one bar pattern and we're going to switch it up um, with automation
check out my redrum tutorial how to make a whole beat and the redrum by itself you could check that out on reasons official channel or you could get it in your um reason master class or watch it on my channel i stand by the redrum i always will you know i've made a lot of money utilizing reason great sound bank great sounds a lot of capabilities great price point i will never not have reason on any of my laptops of the drums now we're going to go through and build our blocks I have a couple tutorials on blocks to help you guys who have problems with arrangement um, today I wanted to utilize blocks because I really like this beat and I wanted to have a couple different um, variations of the sounds and make sure that they came in on time. So I'm going to use a copy and paste method and then we're just going to deduce and then I'm going to build out my beat from there so you can hear it now before I automate the drums. the way the sounds so we're about to add the drums do the drum automation of our different patterns green box lets you know that automation is set you're going to come in and automate let it play through and put our uh, different patterns in our song arrangements This way you can see what it looks like sped up, you know, make sure we switch on beat, switch at different parts, you know, make sure you have your arrangement window open so you can see the parts you want to change and how you want to change it. So here's our beat with our full drum arrangement. You can see it down there in the yellowish green bright neon yellow or green you know they say men are colorblind so it looks yellow to me but i'll say yellow green um now you can hear our full arrangement and make sure you like share subscribe you can check out the master class get a tutorial on blocks mixing four hours worth of stuff i really like this beat you know i'm going to do some small volume edits and some small mixing but i think we're at the end As you can see, utilizing blocks mode, you can see I could go back and change any part of my beat, any part of the arrangement now going forward if I didn't like any of it. Let's go ahead and listen to the whole arrangement and let's do some last second mixing. Um, probably turn on the compressor and see how that sounds, bump up the volume, but let's check it out.
probably going to do a little bit more mixing but i want to say thank you to everybody who's checked out the video make sure you like share subscribe comment make sure you check out the master class make sure you check out um the sound pack and again this is your brother this is beat builder tv thanks for checking out reason studios reason 12 beat making with otg we got another video done it's your brother